Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, we have a magical and mystical Venus and Neptune conjunction, and then a moon Venus and Neptune conjunction. Look out for past life connections, but don't get paranoid as it's all squaring Mars. Here's your weekly astrology. <music> Hey Capricorn, as you know, you're having a magical time and a go, go, go time and it's a very special year for you. Now this week it's more of a slow down time, an opportunity to listen to what the universe is trying to communicate with you. There is very profound, intense and deeply important conversations or even you channeling ideas you channeling thoughts, some information is coming to you this week, either through someone else or directly channeled through you, which is super important. It's aligning you with your soul path. Not only do we have Venus and Neptune conjunct joining forces, we also have the moon joining that party. So it might be emotional, you might sort of suddenly have a revelation, a change of thinking, a new enlightened sense of something and it's like oh wow you know so be tender and be sweet with yourself but definitely keep a journal put a, an app on your phone that you can just voice memo because everything maybe not everything but a lot of things this week that are coming through to you in terms of your thoughts or through other people is super important for your future it's about your soul growth it's about you stepping through to a new space where you feel happier in the way that you're communicating now do watch out for somebody who's trying to confuse you or blur the boundaries because there is a square with Mars. So there may be someone talking a load of crap. Use your intuition to sense, to know and to feel what that is, you know, what's real and what isn't real. Because it's easy to just go, Ooh, I'm going and I'm fading in this drug-like haze, the drug-like haze of Neptune, Venus and the Moon. In other news, we have Mercury Retro Shadow. So at the moment, and Ceres is actually going into your position of like, right, let's let's get down, let's make everything secure and safe and, and sturdy to build our fabulous energy with and our fabulous life right now. But when Mercury goes into Retro Shadow, sh Retro Shadow, that says it all. I'm already experiencing the Retro Shadow, darling. <laughs> anyway, oh my God, I sound like my mother then. What's happening to me? Anyway, Retro Shadow, although that Freudian slip may mean something more to you. I don't know. Um, means just be cautious in communication. <laughs> so there are no misunderstandings. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpicked them and they are fabulous. So I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. Hello, I'm Sally. My readings are honest and open. I speak from my heart. I use my intuition to express guidance to the clients over the phone. People that call look for that, that guidance. They could be on their way to a meeting or feeling really unsure about which direction to go. It helps make a decision and feel like they're doing the right thing and it helps them get clarity on their situation. I like to ask clients, uh, do they have a particular question in mind? And that helps really hone in on the specifics of their situation. It's really important work and it feels like a vocation. I feel like I'm part of Team Light, so to speak, the team that is helping uplift the world. I like to empower people and to help people believe in themselves. I hope that they would feel like they've got a suit of armour on and that they can take on the world with more strength and courage and more empowerment really. Mm -hmm.